In R, the D norm function gives you the density, meaning the height of a normal curve. It takes up to four arguments. The first one is the x values, like where do you want to know the heights? The second entry, if any, is the means, where do you want it centered? The third entry, if any, are the sigmas, uh, how wide do you want the bell curve to be? And the last one is, would you like me to take the logarithm of these values? Now, for a default, you're going to get an error if you don't include the first thing, if you don't give it anything to find the height of. For the second thing, if you don't give it a mu at all, it's going to give zeros. If you don't give it a sigma, it's going to give one. And if you don't tell it specifically you're going to do logarithms, it's going to assume you don't want any logarithms. The weird thing for me, getting used to R, is the vectors and the fact that vectors get recycled. So I asked myself, what's going to happen if I fed D norm four vectors consisting of that, 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 and that? So what we do is we don't care how long the logic one is. All we care about is its first entry. False, okay, false. As for the other three, we go with whichever one is longest, which is five here, and then we just recycle until we get to five. Two, 0.52, two, we need 2.5, 2, 2.5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. So that's what would be put in as the x positions, the means, the sigmas, and not taking any logarithms. If I had started this off with a true, it would be taking logarithms. If I gave this a number or a set of numbers, it's just going to look at the first number and say, is it a zero? False. Otherwise, it, I'm going to give the locks.